Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for the new moon in Gemini for what you need to hear pick a card. But before I even get into any of that guys, I am just astounded, really overwhelmed by the amount of love I've received on YouTube so far. I mean, guys, I didn't expect to get anywhere near where I am right now. I started YouTube a couple weeks ago. I did it to help people provide guidance, provide um, messages from spirit that I find uplifting, that I would want people to find inspirational to help themselves as much as spirits help me. So communicating these messages is truly my honor. It really is. And you guys, just the amount of love I've been receiving, the amount of kindness I see in your words and the feelings of the energies that have been sent my way, really, guys, it's truly, truly an honor to understand each and every one of you in a pretty, not super personal level, but, you know, enough to see your vibe and enough for me to write, you know, right back to you because I want this to be more personal. I'm, yes, I'm a reader, but that doesn't make me, you know, any above anyone else. Everyone has psychic abilities. Some are just more attuned to the messages they receive. And I want every, each and every one of us to unlock this ability to empathize with each other. So that's part of the reason why I started this channel and to already see such great energy on my channel is just a blessing. It really is. Thank you so much, guys. I've been getting a lot of requests for personal readings, which I'm really dying to do, but I'm trying to make the time out of my schedule. I am not a full-time reader. I do have a full-time job, so I do try to accommodate when I can, and I'm making time out of my current schedule because I've been getting so many requests. I mean, again, guys, it's really overwhelming, and I really appreciate all the love, all the support. So in return, I definitely want to make some time for you guys. Uh, you know, while I'm mentioning it, I'm thinking of opening a website for you guys to order, um, you know, readings through and maybe to provide other services as well, not just tarot readings, but I'm trying to start my website and I'm trying to get things going. So guys, I'm not the one to usually ask for anything, but if you can leave a donation at my PayPal, the link will be in the description. I would be so thankful, so honored, and it could be at any, any amount is clearly appreciated and if you can't get um, you know provide a donation please don't worry about it um you know it's nothing necessary i am just really really wanting to get this website down wanting to get things ordered so i can just make the website its best potential it can be so you know a donation would be kind or even just sending your kind energy to it's it would just really help so thank you so much and thank you for those who have already donated i do appreciate it so let's get into the reading. So this will be a pick a card. So you see we have these three decks of cards here. Um, I do know the names of the crystals, but I don't want a certain bias to be introduced into this intuition picking. Sometimes, you know, when we identify with certain things or label things a certain way, then our minds automatically are drawn to them. And for those of you who do know the names of these crystals, you can go ahead and provide them in the comment box if you'd like. But what I really want us to do and I want everyone is to grow their intuition, grow their own guide without any influence other than your own, you know, intuition, your own choice, your own perception, your own perspective. So I'm not going to name the crystals for now, but if you would like to just pick either this card, deck of cards, this deck of cards, this deck of cards. I invite you to resonate on each deck. And as you resonate, I want you to breathe in. And hold it. For one, two, three. And breathe out slowly. Two, three. And once you find that stone or that deck that you resonate with, we can go ahead and get started. By the way, guys, if you resonate with more than one stone, or if you resonate with all three, go ahead and pick all three. The message I'm going to provide is what you need to hear. With this new moon in Gemini, you know, our intentions need to be set on communication. It needs to be set on clarity, and it needs to be set with a peace of mind. We need to have a strategy going throughout this month of June of what we need to do next and what are the following steps. So 
I provided these, there's about four or five different decks I used and I'll provide um, the links to those decks to Amazon in the description box so you guys can go ahead and order them. Um, and I'm going to provide a very general message. So again guys, this is a very, very general reading. There's only three decks, three stones, and as many viewers as these, you know, is going to be watching this ep episode that I upload. Um, there, it's not going to absolutely 100% resonate with every single person that watches this. I sync with the energies I pick up with the most, and I provide the messages for those who need to hear them. So I prioritize what spirit gives me and what my intuition gives me and guides me to say the most, because those are the messages people need to hear the most. So please take that in mind. This is a very general reading. Each stone or deck will probably be about 10 to 15 minutes, so I do appreciate your patience and understanding and time. So let's get started. So let's get started with deck number one. Okay. So what I'm getting is that something, some information or someone could be a fire sign or you could have fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, came in to your life. A passionate new opportunity, it could have been in work, it could have been a new project that you could have started, or it could be a new invite for love that was really passionate, really enduring, really sensual. And it was, I'm getting it like such a heat at the moment. It was like when you met this person or when you took on this project for some of you that's work related or just creative experience, um, projects such as writing, painting, um, photography, videography, even some of you can be doing your own YouTube channels and the passion just came and it was like a burst of energy. It was like a firecracker. I feel this intense burning in my heart and it got you going and it got you starting and you were off you're off from the races in the past and now in the future it's like you put all your effort you put your soul you put your time you put your energy and now it's waiting you planted the seeds and the divine and the spirit is taking its time to make sure that those seeds grow to its best potential so when you receive the crop or when you receive the you know outcome of all the effort you put into it that it will be abundant okay you already do have so much in you and with you I mean for those of you that this was a creative project or even something to do with work you're paid well you have you know every means to you know go by month to month without worrying about the bills, without worrying about, you know, making sure that your loved ones are taken care of, fed. But there's something more. This spark, whatever this spark was, if it was a person, if it was a thing, it reignited this light in you, this passion in you. So I'm getting a couple things here for a certain amount of groups. If it doesn't resonate, don't take it right. So this could, for a very small amount of you or for a few of you, this could have definitely have been for the romance I'm picking up on. It could have been a suitor who pursued you. It was was really intense, a fiery connection almost. It was as if it was almost just a spark of a revelation that this person... I'm just getting just... I'm feeling a little warm almost. Like it was just very sensual, very passionate. And then it almost as if, if for those of you that, that resonate with this message, they were back out of your lives. As quick as they were in, they were as quick as they were out. And it left you waiting. It left you having your fulfillment. I mean, this interaction was definitely something worthwhile, but you want something more. Or you're realizing that 
you need to start pursuing things that are just not only going to provide the passion that this Knight of Wands project opportunity person provided, but something needs to be tangible. In order to get started with your passion, you need to really put it into use, put it into practice so it can grow into something. So maybe you're in no contact if this was a person, a fire sign or fire in their chart, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So you're waiting. You're waiting for them to come back. You're waiting for them to provide, you know, you're waiting f to give them the amount of abundance, love, um, loyalty that you have. And for those of you that this is a creative project, you had that spark or even work, you had that spark. And now you're resting and waiting till you can fully execute the plan before you have everything known that's going to be scalable, that's going to be worthwhile, and that's going to, you know, provide the most abundance because you don't want to just get off something of a passionate start and then for it to burn out just as quick. You can do this with, you know, knowing the intentions of what you're going to build so it provides the most for you. And with this card, the Three of Wands, it will grow. It will become something. See that holding within her? It's a light that's going to illuminate the world. So whether you had to learn from a relationship, this person was in and out of your life and it left you waiting, wondering when you're going to provide that to someone, the opportunity will come. Someone will come in down the road. It might take a little bit and it might be a road that you are waiting on to continue. But once that inspiration comes, and by the way, can I just point out too, spirits with you, see that white candle? And courage is with you. Determination, power is with you. And once you get going, once you use that orb as if, as if you almost don't have to move anywhere, you can sit where you are and your light and your energy will just attract. People will start coming down the road to you because they see that light in that distance. They see you as being something to be drawn to. And for those of you that this is a creative project, maybe this is something you've been thinking about for a long time. It started off as this great idea and you're sitting and waiting and wondering when you can execute it. And then when it happens, you put yourself out there, you have the courage to go out there and, you know, put yourself either on, I don't know, YouTube, writing a blog, um, going to a cafe to perform your work or whatever have you, writing, writing a book for some of you. I'm getting a lot of creativity. And once you have the opportunity to show your light, show what you have and the talent that you have, you will be like a flame and everyone will be a moth just drawn to you. And for those of you who had to learn from a relationship where someone ghosted you, someone came in your life and just as easily came out, you have to wait in order to heal. And you're gonna have to look in, see this woman's eyes are closed, right? Um, once it focuses, Jesus. Um, okay, sorry, this is gonna drive me crazy. But believe me, her eyes are closed. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, her eyes are closed. Um, she's going within, she has everything she needs. Maybe she's just waiting for someone to give it to her and she's not realizing, and this is a he or a she, but in the card I'm just saying she, she's not realizing she has everything she needs in front of her. And once that is being inspired, once you realize you have the love, you have, you are lovable, you are a determined, smart, capable, sexy individual who doesn't need anyone else to give you what you want, you have it within yourself, and once you become to that enlightenment, you will be, you know, people will not take their eyes from you. You will have this sudden attraction that will be inspiring. And the angels say, go for it. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on the situation since its genesis from the time of that spark. And we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path. 
as it will take you very far indeed. So this is interesting too because seven of pentacles, seven is life path, seven is going within knowing yourself in order to continue on. So stay on your present path. Whatever you're thinking of pursuing, whatever you're thinking of, you know, if you have been ghosted or if you were left in no communication, have confidence. Go for it to move on because Spirit says not only are you just, you know, look at you on th that horse. It's, you have the power, you have the horsepower, you have the drive, you have people watching you. And now is your time. The time is now to go for it. Get up and, you know, leave what doesn't. Um, what isn't benefit, uh, beneficial for you behind and go for what you believe in will help you. Don't sit around waiting for things or don't sit around thinking that it will come to you. Spirit wants you to know that you have all the potential. You have all the needs to do what you want. Freedom is yours. Master number 33 breaking down to a six. So but really master number 33 you have a lot more freedom than you think you know being in the seven of pentacles kind of state you're thinking about you know what if what if this goes wrong again what if i fail what if i'm not doing what i'm supposed to be meant to do but spirit's confirming that the freedom is yours the freedom to choose do not get entangled up in self entrapment of doubt insecurity fear go for it you have spirit at your back and spirit's not only having your back but they are telling you you have the option to do whatever you want to see whoever you want to love whoever you want and love will come to you like that moth drawn to a flame once you open that vibration once you open that vibration the options are unlimited and expect powerful change with the new moon eclipse so whatever is happening in your life now it may feel stagnant but that's because spirit is determined to make this perfect for you to let you know that once these lessons have been learned once you put into execution of um, whatever you're thinking of pursuing creatively or at work getting that promotion or finding new love once you have that fire back in you after planning and waiting, powerful change, powerful change is going to happen. You're going to start noticing more people are drawn to you. You're going to start noticing more opportunities are going to come to you. Manifestation will be at itself. But again, you have to go within, find that fire within, and don't let it go. Don't let it burn out because if it burns out, then that change that powerful change will not become, it will either be delayed or it will be completely gone. So hold on to that. And once you have the opportunity to make yourself known, then you'll, you'll be free. And then amethyst, revealing your true self. As you allow others to know the real you, you'll feel loved for who you truly are. Yes, go for it. Freedom is yours. Be yourself. You are lovable. You have all the means in your arms to go for what you want. And you have all the means in your arms, in your heart, to be who you want to be. Because who you are is what you're destined to be. You, you can, you know, being yourself is what is going to attract others to you going to provide opportunities to you whether that's love whether that's job again or projects you're gonna it's almost as if you if you continue down this passionate start this passionate feeling and keep it for one thing your crown your um third eye chakra is going to be very open and another thing is that you're almost i feel getting you're going to be almost renowned and it doesn't have to be you know the most famous grammy academy award winning person ever but you'll be renowned either within your community within your family within your friends they'll look to you for inspiration they'll be like you know wow they got it together they've had an idea or they decided to go up and meet other people because they weren't gonna sit waiting for the opportunities to come to them and they are just so genuine with their pursuit. They are so...
courageous in their pursuit that I want to aspire to be like them. And revealing and being your true self is what's going to get you there. So that was deck number one. I really hope that resonated with you guys. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe below. If you're going to stick around for the other two decks, please do. And don't forget to check out the description box for the decks I used. And if you're, you know, I would invite you to leave a donation, but you are free at your own discretion. Having your great energy is enough. Thank you so much. Have a good new moon in Gemini. Take care. Hello! For those who picked deck number two, welcome. Let's get started. Okay, so what I'm getting here, huge transformation that's gone on in your life. This is something that could be relatively in the past. You know, either something happened that made you transform from the inside out. It could have been a relationship that didn't work out so well. It could have been an opportunity that was missed either in work or someone else got a promotion that you didn't get, although you worked your ass off to deserve. It could also have been, you know, some hard struggles internally whether it was a state of mind that was just not raising your vibration um you know certain habits we learned as children that weren't suiting us currently and we recognized that and we were enlightened by it and for those of you who are letting someone go this you're finally in the unconsciously letting them go you're letting them you know you're dying out your sadness, you're dying out your insecurity, you're dying out your self-doubt. And you're finally coming out of this slumber of wishing, waiting, wanting, and realizing that it is time to recognize within. A new rebirth from within is what's going to get you to where you need. Whatever needed to die, whether it was a relationship, whether it was a job that you're no longer happy in and that you decide to leave, or whether it was... I'm getting some of you, it could have been family related, maybe a sibling, a cousin, someone where you had close relation with that were no longer serving you, maybe taking advantage, or people in general were taking advantage of you. And you finally recognize that being a people pleaser is, although you know you feel like you're helping people, you feel like you're doing well, people kept on stabbing you in the back, people kept on hurting you, and you recognize this. You laid down to rest, and spirit helped take away the pain, take away the sorrow, to give you enlightenment that you need to start focusing on yourself. You, not in a selfish way of only me forever and ever, but like in a way where it's like, I can serve others as much as I serve myself. What I give to others, I can give myself. And I don't need to feel guilty for saying no to people or for, for others of you. This certainly, definitely was a relationship that you were hanging on to for too long. And this has been going on for a while. Months. For some of you. Weeks. For those of you <laughs> who are very quick at, you know, dipping. I think it's been a couple weeks, but you were hurt. And this is Scorpio energy. Could have been dealing with a Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart. But you finally laid to rest what wasn't working. And now you're on the process. You're on the path to finally going about things in a new way, in a new lifestyle, in a new habit that's going to serve you better. But it has put you in this hanged man state. Okay. With death and the hanged man, what I'm seeing is that this new enlightenment, you've been, okay, I know what I need to do, but now how do I do it? How do I, I'm seeing it in a new perspective I'm gaining insight, I'm gaining reflection, but how do I now 
tie myself down, stand myself back up, and walk towards the light. This is a time where you need to go within. And, you know, not everything has answers. Not everything is going to be coming in your way, is going to be obvious to you of how you solve the problem. Sometimes spirit lets things be hidden. Sometimes spirit lets things be unknown until it's the right time to reveal itself. So if you are in this hangman position, maybe if you did get over a breakup, if you have finally let go of the person who was treating you badly, wasn't giving you the recip um, reciprocation you required, wasn't giving you fulfillment, emotional, physical, mental that you required, it has left you in a bit of a slump, but the light's behind you. The path is behind you. It is now time to put the work to untie yourself from the bond. Unconsciously, you've already recognized this with death. Two major arcanas. This is Pisces, um, Neptune vibe as well. So a lot of water, you guys could definitely be a water sign or have water in your chart. But once you've unconsciously made this decision, and this could have came to you in your dream even, this could have came to you, you know, you may not even be aware of this awakening within you of maybe you just started seeing things in a new light where it's like, you know what, I'm finally just going to stop being so obsessed with it. I'm going to start letting go, surrendering and let, you know, spirit guide me. But I need a bit of help. I need a bit of more time to think, more time to contemplate so I can really get up and do what I need to do. So I can go down the path that was my purpose. Whatever happened that needed to die was intentional. Spirit let this in her life because it was a lesson that needed to be learned. I'm really getting strongly family related or romantically related for you guys, okay? For this reading, only take what resonates. It's a very general reading, but now you're in this hangman stage you're just thinking of what to do here you're in the new perspective you're putting the effort in making this new perspective work this new lifestyle this new way of thinking this new way of handling healthy relationships and setting healthy boundaries with people but now you're just thinking where to go from here and with the five of cups so it's a, it's a very hard transition for you guys. It's a very emotional one. Again, Cancer, uh, Pisces, Scorpio energy. But there are cups behind you. There is fulfillment behind you. Or if this isn't you, this could be the person who, or people who decided to take advantage of you, who decided to walk all over you, who decided to just displace you. And once they realized that you are a changed person, you have become stronger, you have become more clear, you have become wiser with every hurt that's happened to you. You let die what needed to die so you can raise out of the ashes and they see that and now they regret doing that to you. They regret putting you through that emotional pain because they knew they couldn't handle it and that's why they disappointed you that's why they turned their back on you that's why they made you feel left out um but now they're they're in the five of cups energy they're realizing what they did to you they're realizing they're probably not ever going to get you back because this with the hanged man and the death is significant change significant way of looking at things completely differently and never looking back again but others of you who this isn't another person, you need to stay strong. I know it hurts. I know it's painful. And I know that this was a tough time for you. But this was meant to happen. And maybe out of this pain, maybe out of this unexpected event that happened that made you so, you know, emotional it's kicking in your intuition. It's kicking in your feelings. It's kicking in your imagination and your creativity. Emotions are what spark, you know, the driving creativity as well as passion. But I really do think intuition and creativity come hand in hand. And something will come out of this, especially with death. 
you may be feeling it now, you may be hurt now, but know that there's two more other opportunities behind you. Listen to your intuition. Listen and see the peace in front of you, although it may look like it's nothing's there, there is something there. There's a lotus, that, that means abundance can be seen once you get out of this funk and embrace what happened and know that this change was meant to be. This transformation, powerful transformation, something that has changed. I'm getting your lifestyle, your, the way you think, the way you're acting to others. But you're not doing it in a way where you're cold. You're not doing it in a way where you're just not trusting anyone. Yes, you're hurt right now, but you're wiser from your interactions with people. So now you're just going to grow stronger after this hurt. You're like the phoenix right now, but it's going to take time. So what we have here from the angels is life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus on serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. So maybe it was in the past, even currently with the hanged man, it's like, if this happened to me, why why did this happen to me? What is you know, what am I doing here? Why am what am I supposed to do? And it's leaving you in this hangman kind of state. Or why has this happened to me? But know that this was meant for a purpose. Know that this was meant for a lesson. And don't worry so much about why, how. Worry about how I can use this to further my advantage. Every pain, every hurt makes you stronger. And it helps you, guide you towards the path that you need to be with the lessons you have learned. This person in the card is old. I'm not saying you're old, but I'm saying you're wise. You're an old soul. You've been through hurt before. You have been through challenges before, but that never stopped you. That never discouraged you. And this is another chapter in the the light, um, the book of your life that you're just adding to, to grow your wisdom, to grow your trust in yourself, and to grow your the purpose that you have a meaningful experience in everything that you do in life, good or bad. Flamingo spirit, embrace the in-between. So like I was saying about how some things are just not revealed to us tangibly. Some things we don't just see with our own eyes and ears to just confirm it's true. Sometimes there's something that's unseen, that's unheard, but is known from our intuition, from our heart, from our faith, that there's something else that's meant for us than what we're experiencing currently. If you're in a lot of pain right now, just know that something is there. You may not be seeing it. You may, may not be hearing it. But know that spirit has your back. And you have to embrace you know, the mysteries in life. The in-between of reality and your dreams to be coming true with the potential after you learn these hard lessons. Hold your vision with the fixed moon spirit. Do not let whatever happened, whatever change that needed to happen in this confusion that I'm seeing about what to go on from here, do not let that deter you or to distract you from what you're meant to do. If you've had an idea, a creative pursuit, go for it. Or even hold your vision, I'm seeing this intuitively, as don't lose who you are because of what happened to you. You are a bright soul you are a caring soul you're a giving soul and do not let other people's actions and low vibrations hold you off of your vision of others hold you off of the vision that you have of yourself because you are strong you are powerful and you have every bit what it takes to overcome the situation with strength and grace and vitality and most importantly clear and clear courts let yourself feel all your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. So yes, like I said earlier, please listen to your intuition. Please experience your emotions. Some of us just keep our emotions buried, keep it hidden to where we could eventually come like the Five of Cups where it's just never been expressed. We never dealt with it. And it sits in resentment. It sits in bitterness and regret. But once you process your emotions once you recognize your emotions and let 
yourself feel you will finally be free. You will finally come out of that hangman state and see where you need to go and leave what needs to die in the past. Processing your emotions is so important in getting yourself a clear mind and a clear heart on what to do next. Well, that was deck number two, guys. I mean, wow. I felt that energy. It was strong. I mean, you guys are very powerful people who picked that. I, you are here in this life to experience so much because after you experience it, you're the ones that take that experience, absorb and grow and raise the vibrations for that. Very powerful beings here. So thank you so much. And um, if you're going to stick around for deck three, stick around. Please like, comment, share, and sub subscribe if this resonated with you. Um, you know, please feel free to give a donation to support the channel as well. But if you don't, no worries. May love and light always guide you. Take care. Hello, for those of you who picked deck three, welcome. Let's get started. Okay, so what I'm getting here, Ten of Pentacles, you are in a place of abundance, you have a really solid either family base, you're really high up in your job or you have a very stable job or a job that you're happy with, or you can even have a great support of friends and support around you. You aren't worried about the income, you're not worried about you know, paying your bills, for the most part, I'm getting that really most of you have a good amount of stable income, that you have power in your job, in your workplace, and you're determined to see through. But something with the Five of Pentacles has happened, whether it was something where, for some of you, maybe this you could have had a family a very strong family and something happened either with your spouse that has made you feel you could have caught them or could it just be even a boyfriend girlfriend situation you could have caught them betraying you you could have caught them cheating on you or they decided to no longer be with you anymore and it split up the family it split up what you had it split up your ideal world of what you believed everything was perfect everything was around you surrounding you and all of a sudden it's gone for some of you that this isn't a family some of you came in at unexpe uh, unexpected financial loss this could be something to do with losing your job losing a court case or giving money to the wrong people. Maybe you provided loans to family members or friends or your partner and they never paid you back. They saw your abundance, they saw your worth and they just let, they never paid you back or they took your money or they, if it is a court proceeding, you lost almost everything. For another group of you, and again, take with what resonates, I'm getting a lot of different energies here. You were in a happy, stable relationship and something came into the picture that needed to break you guys up for a while, that needed to put in no communication or just to split up because either someone was not reciprocating the work that you were putting into the relationship or just lost connectedness in it all. You lost the feelings, you lost the inspiration and you decided to just let it go. And right now it's being, it's hard because it was, you know, to everyone else's eyes who could have seen it, it was ideal, it was picture perfect. Who would ever want to leave a situation like that? But you were just disconnected. As much as this looked like to everyone's eyes, as much as it looked like you had prosperity, as much as you had, you know, limitless amount of wealth or growth within you, really you were feeling disconnected the whole time. 
For some of you, I'm also getting a bit of... Some of you could have a child with this person that's left you out in the cold, that's left you feeling like you need to do what you have to do to protect your child from what is going around on around them. If it is a divorce, if it is a separation, or even if you're in a family and your parents are getting divorced and you have to provide that support to your siblings, you are there providing that that strength, that warmth to that person. You may feel like you're surrounded in the cold, but you're giving that person that warmth that needs your help. And for another group of you, I know I'm getting so many messages here. Someone came to you for help. Someone came to you, they saw you were wise, saw that you were grounded, saw that you were stable, and now they're looking to you for guidance. They could be going through a hard time themselves. Um, depression, loneliness, a breakup. And so they came to you for your support, for your wise. I'm getting some of you are just very down to earth. Some of you could have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn in your chart strongly. And people look to you as someone that can take care of them, that has done well for themselves, that can provide the resources to fix any problem, problem solvers. And so they came to you. Others of you, you are doing very well, but you've just come into a situation that's been a little bit, you know, either a loss of a relationship or loss of money that you need to recover from, but I don't see it being a problem. So take what resonates. And you will be this queen of wands out of it whatever you went through a loss of financial stability loss of relationship divorce court proceedings you're coming out as the queen of wands strong determined fiery confident happy life of the party sexy alluring only goes for what serves her only sets her eyes on what she deserves and settles for nothing less she, you either for those of you who are helping another individual through a hard time, you are the one pr giving them this inspiration to be this sort of energy, this courageous, powerful energy. Some of you can have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your chart. But you are going to be the source of inspiration and strength for this person you're helping, or you're going to come out of whatever situation that has brought you from the Ten of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles, and you're going to be jaw-dropping awing. You won't even recognize yourself. And Spirit's letting you to let your past go. The burden of carrying your past around has made you weary, dear one. It is time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it and it's now gone. So, for those of you who are holding on to, if you did have a financial loss or a family has been broken up, or you're going through a really hard time of you, um, either it's a friend's family, either you or the person you're helping, because some of you are clearly helping someone through a situation right now, and you need to let the past go, or you need to tell them to let the past go so they can be reborn into this Queen of Wands. Whatever is in the past, it was a lesson, it needed to be learned, it could have been karmic, but with the lessons you are learning, spirits providing opportunities for you to grow, for you to overcome obstacle, to overcome the five of pentacles. It could have been such a story as even when people go from rags to riches, it could have been from riches to rags. You could have had, I'm getting some of you, it could have been a thing of jealousy even, that someone saw you do well in your work co-workers saw you do well in your work I'm getting this download for some of you you were getting the promotion you were getting the salary increase and someone tried to stab you in the back and you thought you had that loyalty with that person it could have been a friend as well you thought you had that loyalty that acceptance in it that you just ended up feeling left out betrayed by this person but it only made you stronger Whatever scenario you were resonating with, it only made you stronger. It only made you more attractive. So whatever they try to do, this jealous person, and for some of you I'm getting strongly, it could be an ex. 
could be an ex, you let them go because they're beneath you. That energy's beneath you. That, and it's it was meant to be learned, but spirit doesn't want you to keep it around because you're going to grow into something way stronger and fiercer than what they even expected. Their plans to deteriorate you, to, um, you know, disrespect you, to, you know, um, just make you feel lower than yourself did not work. And now it's time to let it go. You learned your lessons. You recognize what this person did or you're helping someone through a similar situation to what they're going through and you're encouraging them to let the past go because they're about to grow into something way more inspiring and they're looking to you for that courage that you carry so easily, so gracefully. People have told you in the past that you're probably just so determined, so courageous. Do what you want and you need to regain that fire back. So crow spirit, crow create, co create with spirit. So spirit sees the difficulties you've been through. Spirit recognizes the difficulties that you've endured, and now they're stepping in to help you co create. Once you pick yourself back up out again, spirit's there and has your back. People will be there. I I know there were some some with the five of pentacles that dramatic dramatic change. If I heard jealousy, um. Maybe, you know, someone was jealous of the relationship as well, did something to stir shit up. But whatever it is, whatever the situation and for that, what got you from Ten of Pentacles to Five, Spirit's here to help you co-create, to help you fix what is broken or what seems to be broken. And for those of you who are lending a helping hand to a friend, a family member, a partner who's going through a tough time, you are helping Spirit by helping them. You and Spirit together are helping this person through this time. You're co-creating with Spirit the manifestation and the abundance that per this person needs to receive, whether it's through emotional care, whether it's through inspiration. You are co-creating Spirit with alluring, with taking the energies within and giving out what's only best needed to be served. And you're doing that through Spirit. So, a time to give rather than take, a new moon in Virgo. So, to me, I'm reading this intuitively. I'm seeing that it wasn't so much a problem that you were taking. It was more that your time to give, your time to provide that special, courageous, strong, I'm getting energy off you guys. So you guys could either again have Virgus, uh, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, or Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or you can have it in your chart. It's time to give that energy to others. It's time to give that energy out in the world. If someone tried to, to crown you, if someone tried to, um, you know, just make you feel less of yourself than what you are, you're so high vibrating that you need to give to the world that energy and show them what you really are. They didn't, if there's some person just tried to take you down, whoever this person is I'm feeling, it was not successful. They did not see how high of a vibration you truly are, the gift that you truly have to overcome whatever it takes and to give that you know energy out into the world. But overall, as I said earlier with, you know, you could be a Virgo too or have Virgo in your chart, but really you just have the resources, you have the problem solving skills and you have the time and patience and effort, hard working, enough to you know overcome any difficulty solve any problem whether that's for yourself or for others and lastly we have increased support your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities so yes this the amount you've been giving to others whether it was through you know finances and you didn't get paid back or you know, giving your time and effort into a relationship that they just ended up screwing you over, or friendship or whatever at work, that support, although you may have felt like it went to waste because they disrespected you, they stabbed you in the back, that wasn't to waste. Spirit and, you know, others saw you for your caring heart and they're going to 
increase their support for you. Spirit especially sees what you've gone through, sees what you have, and it's just going to make you even more um, prone to opportunities. It All this energy, just because it was given to the wrong person, doesn't mean it didn't mean anything. Some of you needed to hear that. Just because it was given to someone who didn't respect you or take consideration of what you did for them doesn't mean it was wasted. You put good energy out in the world and it will come back to you tenfold. You will grow from this. And for those of you who are helping a friend in need or a family member or a sibling um, or a romantic partner that's going through a tough time, they need your support. And the more you give to others, the more... It's going to change their lives for the better and they're going to know you as being that person that helped them through that hard time and they will always be in your debt. They'll always be in your debt and they'll always have that support to give back to you. And for those of you that this is you going through this situation, whatever tough experience you have right now, spirit is with you 100% and is providing the opportunities. You just need to look out for them. You need to Reckon, and maybe it's not the opportunities you imagine. It could be something as small as um, a friend calling you to go catch up with a lunch date and then some opportunity will rise from that I'm getting for some of you. Others of you, it could be a new love situation that comes into your life that you never thought you would be dating this person. It could have been a friend for years or um, you know, they just randomly sent you a DM or a text and it's small things like that that have an inc incredible amount of support that you don't even realize that spirit's slowly giving to you. Again, this is a very general reading, so take what resonates. Well, that was deck number three, guys. I really hope that resonated with you. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe if it did. Um, the decks I've used will be in the description box as well as my PayPal link to support the channel. Um, feel free to donate, but again, just having your light and your energy here on this channel is enough for me as well. Thank you so much and take care. Have a good new moon in Gemini.